Hello there, it's Sonic, and today I'll be reviewing the Faker. The GE Animation Sonic X Shadow Plus. So yeah, this was requested by a few people, so it's quite a popular one. So yeah, this is a really, really rare plus. Really, really rare. One of the rarest Shadow Pluses I think you can get. The original GE animation one. So, uh, yeah, you could just keep looking around. I got this from Amazon.com, the American site. For some reason, I could actually order from there. So, um, if I do find one, I will link it in the description. If I don't, then I'm sorry, you just have to look for yourself. But uh, yeah, as my usual technique, head, body, toe. And the tag was basically the same as the other G animation ones. Um, instead, it was just a black one with grey circles and then Sonic X shadow on it. So yeah, basically the same. So let's get reviewing. So, the head. Now the head is, um, let's just say, massively out proportioned from his body, like all the old G ones. But yeah, in the real Sonic characters, their heads are bigger. But this is just kind of stupid. It does make you look cuter, and this was their first attempt at a Shadow Plus, but it didn't really need to be this big. Um, yeah, this is a really hard plus, really fully stuffed. In fact, this is the hardest of the GD animation pluses. Being a shadow, it probably would be. But yeah, the spikes, I really like these spikes. If you do that, they actually curl up a bit. A bit more. So yeah, from the back, they look cool, and they all have a red, it's kind of pink on this camera, but it's a really nice red colour on the spikes as normal. Um, so yeah, his spikes are actually probably too big, everything on this bus is kind of too big, apart from its main body. Um, but yeah, these smaller spikes at the side, uh, they are susceptible to having this stuffing pushed out of them. So this one's kind of well stuffed and this one's kind of empty. So, uh, yeah, and I really like it how they've actually implemented the felt into black one so it's not just printed on or put over it it's actually in along with the black so yeah that makes it look a lot better and the ears are like like all the other GE ones but this one's kind of flat back yeah. it would be better if they stayed there which I suppose you could just do that. So yeah, on to the actual face. Um, it's a, it's not, it's not an amazing face, to say the least. Uh, I think that should be more like that. Then it will be better. But it's kind of like that. So yeah, uh, the muscles. Oops. And the muzzle's really well stuffed as well. Um, this actually goes out. It's eyebrows, I suppose. You can make it look really surprised. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, the eyes are printed on 
and this the white bit is the same as the gloves which I will go into later. Uh, the nose is actually really really well done. Probably the best nose out of any of the series. Definitely the best one. Really well stuffed, really good shape as well. And his mouth is printed on Sonic X style. Uh, so yeah. Onto the body. So uh, the the actual body itself. Uh, I'm just gonna move the light closer so you can see the body easier. <laughs> and brighten it a bit. Yeah, this is amazing light. There we go. So yeah, the body is a really, really round body. It's almost like a sphere, a circle. And it's really hard. This is actually a really hard part. It means you can throw about more. Okay. Um, the felt is good on this. They just get kind of annoying under his chin. Uh, the back spikes are really small, tiny. And the tail is good. It doesn't stick down like the Sonic, which is kind of awkward. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, good tail. It's just a good tail. Uh, and like the spikes, this red bit is in to the black bit so it's not on top and it's not printed on so yeah I'm just gonna focus the camera so here we go um, now the hands uh, let's just get started on there this bit it's really thin not too amazing but yeah, it looks good. Now the hands. The hands are a really good shape by the way. I really like them. Really good shape hands. But it's the material that they're made of that annoys me. I don't know if you can see this, but I showed it on my knuckles review. Yes, that is dirt along his, the top of his fingers. That is dirt, and you can't really see it properly, but all of that bit is a lightish brown colour. All of that bit is, and all of that, all of that, and on his other hand. So yeah, this plush gathers dirt on the, these bits, polyester bits. Unfortunately, the eyes don't, because you're never really touching the eyes. But yeah, these are dirt magnets. So yeah, that's just one thing to be wary of. Okay, so now onto the legs. Uh, yeah, one thing I forgot is the arms are really hard as well. And the legs are in. Yeah, they're really hard. This is a, in total, really hard brush. So it's not really a soft brush, it's a hard brush. Yeah. So. Focus. So it's the same thing as on the hands here, just to make it look less bare. And I really like these shoes, really like them. Uh, so this white bit and this black bit that stretches all around the bottom of his foot are both the same material as that, which I don't like. But um, yeah, with this material I think it just adds some more variety to the look of the whole brush. 
I think that's why they cut in. Instead of just the normal felt. So, and yet yeah, all the rest is felt, including this bit, which has a printed bit on that's really nice. And these black lines are printed. And then this is obviously printed, it's really shiny. Although a bit did, has come off now. But yeah, generally my plushes, plushies, plushes, are kept in pretty good condition. Not thrown around or... This has never been washed. None of my plushes have been washed. Uh, so I've never actually thrown them around before, which I think is good. Although I do know someone who dips them in mud. Rare G animation ones. So, yeah. yeah. I won't mention his name. He's a pretty good YouTuber as well. So, yeah. And these are hard for GE shoes. So, yeah, really nice shoes. And I think that is it. So, yeah, I will be using this a lot in my new series coming soon this summer. Yeah, yeah. So, ooh, this. <coughs> sorry. This is about nine and a half inches high. And. about four inches wide from the head. So yeah, pretty big. And this is actually smaller than the Knuckles and Sonic ones. So yeah, he's short for a G animation one. But yeah, so as I said, the tag is not... It's just the same, really. Uh, but... Yeah, if I do find this plush, I will link it in the description. So, on to the final rating, which is an 8 out of 10. An 8? An 8 out of 10. I just don't think I could give this plush higher. I really, really love this plush, but if you look at it in a proper critical way, it's got a lot of flaws, but there, gee, I've learned from that. So, for one, the head's a bit too big, and the spikes are a bit too exaggerated. Um, the face shape is not too good. Um, the hands get far too dirty, and these bits are a bit scruff look a bit scruffy. Uh, so yeah, I think I could only really critically review it as an 8. So yeah, if you can't find this, I really recommend you buy it. It has extreme resale value as well. So uh, yeah, that is this review. Please subscribe and visit my Minecraft channel. Uh, yeah, and um, please subscribe to that as well. So, uh, yeah, just a little shout out to Sonic 2 Metro, uh, which found the Tails Plus. Uh, so, yeah. So, I hope you like this review, and goodbye.